Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Blue Mother Banana and this is XCOM 2. We're back. We're back. We're back. And I do think we left last time with, well, the option to go to the bridge. And I'm really curious what we will find there. Sadly, I haven't played, so I, I don't know. I've been spent two days, I think, and I'm not sure what will happen there. So let's just see. Commander, our current Nothing. position is huh. here. Just outside Resistance Headquarters. When we're not on the move, this will serve as our home and our source of supplies. The Councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local Resistance cell nearby. Tygen has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but we'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. New objective added. Okay, so that's that. So basically we just got a global or maybe like, uh, you know, the goal that we actually want to reach. That's basically build a global resistance. Fine. I like, like that. You won't have time for that just yet, though. Remote reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. Aye, aye. All right, so room of rumors or rumor from the resistance. Commander, of the recent success, members of the resistance in South Africa have brought us reports of activity that we might want to investigate. All right, so we might want to investigate this. Ooh, we get an engineer. Now that's interesting. Did we get one already? Anyways, let's let's see. Oh, all right. So we fly over there. That's interesting. That's Saudi Arabia. Okay. While we're waiting for new missions or the completion of our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans of the surrounding area. Well, then by my order, do so. Okay, so that's basically the scanning, like in XCOM One. Interesting. Crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Nice work, Tygen. So he finished the research on modular weapons. I almost forget that we uh, forgot that we did that. Anyways, let's let's assign a new research, of course. Otherwise, we waste time, and wasting time is not good. So weapons upgrade available. Nice. I like that. Great. So our new ooh, magnetic weapons. Ah, twenty-eight days. That's uh, must be the first. Yeah, well, it is the first weapon upgrade, obviously. Oh, look at that! That's that's not that's not correct. It's it should be a sharp S here. It's Gauss. I'm pretty sure it's named after the, the German mathematician and uh, physicist Karl Friedrich Gauss. So, I'm I'm pretty sure it should be a sharp S. But you know, international, uh, well, ASCII codes. I'm 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 okay with this. But it's Gauss. It's it's not Gauss or something. It's Gauss. Just making sure. Uh, resistance communications seven days. That's interesting. And the Advent Officer autopsy. That's also interesting. Huh. Where do we start? Where do we start? Hybrid materials. It looks like armor. And I'm not. I think I've already said that I'm not a huge fan of armor. I'd rather kill my opponents before they even get a chance to shoot at me. Hmm. Ah, dang it. Okay, we need one scientist for the sectoid autopsy. Yes. Although the sectoids have changed substantially since the invasion, they were little small creepy creatures, now they are little, uh, tall creepy creatures. So, yeah, changed. I, I, I think they changed a little. The ability to manipulate psionic energy has clearly not been diminished in the process. So, this seems to unlock psionics, like it did in, in XCOM 1, I think. I think the sector autopsy kind of pushed you down that road. Anyways, I think we're going for the, for the autopsy here. To be similar, if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Huh. Yeah, well, isn't 
that what an officer should do? Like direct the troops or something? Or lead the troops? I'm not sure. Advent has made I've, I've, steady progress in convincing the remaining civilian populace to migrate to their city centers with the propaganda campaign providing a constant stream of reminders as to the benefits of migration, they have maintained a steady influx of new converts. Unfortunately, most of these unwitting refugees have little idea what they are truly signing up for. Ha! Huh. Those bastards, that's why we are bringing them down. Anyways, let's go and scan. Ah, that's bright. Okay, so yeah, stock it, engineer, let's scan. Do it. Two days. Ah, and we cleared the alien debris. Now that's interesting. Um, yeah, let's let's view the room. Otherwise, we lose time. And as I said before, we shouldn't lose time. So let's. Ooh. Now those two look interesting. Uh, what's the power situation? Six of twelve. That's all right. Laboratory. I don't think we need one yet. Uh, we don't even have. I usually you didn't build that many laboratories in XCOM 1, so I'm, I'm always applying my, my XCOM 1 knowledge here, so that's that might be wrong, but maybe it isn't. Power relay... yeah, that's just a... no, power relay. Oh, it supplies, okay. It Green means it supplies energy. Okay, good, good. Yeah, we don't need that yet. So the AWC... Advanced Warfare Center. Interesting. May gain bonus abilities on set the current class. Oh, that's interesting. I think taking that early seems pretty good. What's the Guerrilla Tactics School? So GTS, I think. Uh, Approvations everywhere. I will unlock additional skills. Hmm. Ah, okay, okay. That's like the Officer Training School in, in XCOM 1. But I want this. I want the Advanced Warfare Center. It seems interesting that every time they get promoted, they might gain a bonus ability. So the earlier we get that, the better, because they have, you know, more level ups to do, I think. That's my reasoning here. So let's build this. Right away, I'll send yep, word do it. Up and running. Ah, yes. So Josephine Simon, or Simon, we got her on the last mission, and she's now assigned on building that. Oh! Oh, now that's interesting. You can assign them to increase construction speed. Huh, that's neat. Yeah, look, do that. Just help out there. That's all right. On the other hand... Wait a second, what do we have here? Interesting, huh? So here's an exposed power coil. What does this... Oh, I can't click it. I would have liked to know what this does. There are two coils here. So is there something like an adjacency bonus or something? I don't know. Can we take her out? Yeah, we can. Alright, so that would take 21 days then. Yeah, I know. I did that already. Yeah, let's let's let her excavate this, and as soon as she finished that, I'll put it back into the advanced warfare center. Or we don't even have to do that because we now get a new engineer on the next on the next mission. So I think that's that's an efficient use. All right, so we have the autopsy in one day. Maybe it ticks before that. I don't know. It didn't. All right. So we got an achievement, Rumor Hunter. I, uh, you don't see that. All right, okay. So we get Natalia Petrova. Sounds Czech or maybe Russian or Ukrainian. I don't know. Eastern European. Let's just let's just say that. All right. So in a desperate attempt to assert their independence from Advent, a small community constructed a makeshift stockade around the local radio station. We managed to locate the engineer responsible for the design and Shen convinced them to join her team. So that's Natalia Petrova. What she is doing in the Middle East, maybe she, she got a job there. I mean, she's an engineer, so let's, let's do this. Oh, we got her just... Oh, that's interesting. We just got her. Nice. I, I can live with that. Didn't even have to fight them. 
So now we're going to stock Natalia in here. Come on. Do it. That seems interesting. Alright. So, what now? Where to now? Let's zoom out a bit. Uh, can I not scroll to the sides there? Oh, okay. Doesn't work with the mouse because it uh, goes off to my left monitor. Uh, my other screen. So that's the world. Kind of as we know it. Doesn't well, look looks normal. Everything looks normal. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't see anything to do. So let's go Africa back to the resistance the H resistance HQ. Words, man. Words. That's a really slow episode so far, but let's just gain intel here. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant similar in design to the unit I extracted from the commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information. A great deal of information. Somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Subjects diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live admin officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Alright. Objective added. Okay. Use the skull check item in combat to gain access. Now that's weird in a lot of ways. But okay, I'm I'm okay with that. It's kind of interesting. Commander. That's well, that reminds me a bit of XCOM 1. Recent findings. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Okay, thanks. Uh, so yeah, it's it's basically Capture Life Alien, but this time it's... Yeah, not quite Capture Life Alien, but Hack a Life Alien. That Tigan came up with. We're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Okay, so she wants me to build what a proving ground. Okay, seems fair enough. So let's see. Hmm, stun lancer. Oh yeah, we got them on. Oh yeah, th those were the guys that dropped on on the roof, I think. Hmm. The Unix stun lens could be adapted into a weapon or rangers are already trained to use, training to use, okay. So that seems to be a sword upgrade. The trooper corpse. Hmm. Receiving the neurochips enable us to create a device that will scan the da Ah, okay, that's a battle scanner, I think. Hybrid materials, resistance comms. Hmm. I don't know. 
I don't know. Uh, the battle scanner Knowing that was I... not. Sorry, I. Oh, damn it! I just. I just wanted to interrupt Tygen once. He's interrupting me all the time, so this time I wanted to interrupt him. Sorry. Uh, yeah, he's. I. I don't know. He's just performing an autopsy on a dead soldier, so I don't know what he wants to tell me. But it seems like uh, the battle scanner was kind of useful. We have allies scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations. The aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. All right, I will do that. I like his, I like his voice. It's awesome. Uh, okay, so we got a communications from the Resistance, and once again, I got interrupted. I have no clue what I was about to say. Anyways, Commander, the Resistance has new high priority mission for us. So uh, yeah, view mission then. Oh, a scientist and intel. Ah, Operation Brutal Alter. Extract VIP. Interesting. Uh, yeah, launch, launch, launch. Just, just, just launch, just launch. We have. We wasted 15 minutes just on base construction, so let's just go. Uh, what do we have? Who do we take with us? It's not like we have a great deal of... Uh, I don't know. Choice. Let's let's remove Kelly. Uh, I don't know. I mean, double heavy seems like a good idea. But... Um, I'd like to get one rookie. I, I'd like to get another sharpshooter. So we have two grenadiers. That's that's good. But I, I'd like to have at least two of each. And uh, who do we take? Um, just the next in line. Oh god, I, I will never have. I I don't even want to pronounce it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So good. I think we're 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 all right with this. Uh, let's let's go. Let's just let's just move up. I don't think we have any gear that we could put up on anyone, so it's there is no use in, in waiting. Oh, I think it was talking about the battle scanner. So the battle scanner had its, its uses in the first game. I'm always comparing it to XCOM One in a, in a sense. Because I have experience with it, and I'm trying to use that. Alright. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do. Uh, anyways, what I was about to say is... I... Yeah, I try to... Implement the knowledge from the first game he, uh, into this game just because it, it, it kind of makes sense. It's just how I I try to <laughs> go into these missions. And it's it doesn't really translate that well. I mean, there are some things that are completely different in a way. But I think the battle scanner would be... Oh, that looks like frame drops. Okay. Coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. All right. So, I'll support what your cause if you can get me Advent out of here. already knows we're here, so your position isn't what? concealed for the extraction. Oh, come on. Okay. So, what I wanted to say, we have 12, 12 turns. Let's just take a look here. Uh, what I wanted to say is uh, the battle scanner, I think, has a great deal of use, or it will be very useful here, because the concealment. If we can stay concealed and, you know, just want to move in concealment and we are not sure, you know, maybe there is someone out there and I don't want to sprint over there, then I can just toss a battle scanner, reveal this area, be like, okay, now I, I can set up a better ambush. So that's why I think it's it, it's very useful to us. So we are not in concealment, so I don't really want to rush this too much. I'm just scanning the map. Also, as you might see here, I've installed the smooth camera rotation mod. So I can hold down Q and E to slowly rotate instead of just the 
45 degree angle thing. We need to get up on this roof, and I think the only way to... Well, one way to do it would be this point here, this ladder. I'm sorry if I'm over-analyzing things, but I, I think it's just the right call. Um, I don't want to die, <laughs> that's basically it. Uh, let's move over now? there. Maybe I'll get up on the roof. And let's see, can we jump down on the other side? That would be the, would be one way to do it. I mean, if we get up on the roof here, oops, get up on the roof, see if we can't find anyone here, then cross the street, maybe get up onto this roof and then over there. That's my plan. Just try to be sneaky about it. So it doesn't seem like there's anyone in the bottom floor here, otherwise otherwise she should have spotted it. Should have. That's always you know the problem. Come on, Jeff, move out. Advent troops here. Oh come on, really? They haven't seen me. They have? So much for they would have spotted me. Okay, I've, I I think I should have learned my lesson by you know, uh, in the last episode. Do not sprint towards windows. But no, 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 no. Why wouldn't? Why would I? Okay, so we do have some 50-50 shots. Uh, the question is, do we use a grenade now or later? Okay, we can't blow up the wall back there, so that's... So I don't think there is much use to it. Other, on the other hand, we would get rid of the soldier right up, right away. Uh, hmm. I need you to be... Um, I need you to be... Let's just... Let's just take the tree with the with the VIP and hunker down. Yeah, I think that would be the right call here. Uh, we can take this. That looks like it. Oh, that would be a sprint. Of course it would be. Didn't know why I thought it wouldn't. Um, do we have a grenade? Our rookie head who has one, of course. But it's just off. Ah, damn it. What are your shots? We could take two 50 50s, maybe. If I'm able to get another spot. Ah, uh, she wouldn't. I don't think she has a 50 50 with. Ah, oh, well. So we take the 50 50 here. About. Ah, that's a miss. Alright. I'm okay with that. We take another one on. uh, with her. Position compromised. Oops, she was in concealment still. Eh, forgot about that. And if it doesn't hit, we're going to use a grenade. Alright, so, grenade out. So we're going to blow out the wall. No, we can't. So let's Fire do this. Hole. I... Usually, I, I'm not too conservative with my grenades. I use them all the time, and I think it's often the right call, sometimes the wrong. But, you know, I think you have them, and there is no use in bringing them back to base if they can save you. I'm pretty sure that will be a rest. Yeah, it seems like they, they prioritize the, the resurrection over almost anything okay reanimate it it's great or not I don't, don't know I don't want to work outside of the building though yeah that was pretty obvious just a 30% chance there because he is in full cover and I don't see me come on I want to scroll me down into the building please or not, I don't... Okay. Uh, there is no way I can flank him. Hmm. 
But we can't, we just can't... Do... I mean, we can't do this slowly. We only have 11 turns. And I think that means we should move very aggressively. While still maintaining, of course, the safety of our... Well, uh, VIP. So let's move her up. She has a flashbang. Uh, whatever that does for us, I don't know. So it's a 27% chance to hit. That's pretty damn low. Jeff, on the other hand, can I bring him up into here somewhere? Uh, the table? I don't know. I have no idea how far the, the zombie can move. Now I kind of regret not taking a second grenadier. Okay, how about you? Is there a way you can move in? Oh, that's great. Confirmed. Yep. I move her in. Use her grenade. Throw the frag that should easily hit him. This yep. Remove the cover. And then kill him. Okay. Double explosion. I like it. Hey, look, there's a civvy, I think. Civilian. I don't want to to kill that guy. Uh, moving, of course. So maybe we don't work on top. Uh, well, on top of the building, we just move through it. It's all right. I don't like that shot. I don't want to use it yet. I'd rather move everybody up. Closing on target position now. Uh, not the civilian though. Or the the scientist. Okay, who needs promotions? Rodriguez. No, not Rodriguez, I mean Rizzo. Angelo Rizzo. My Italian friend. Nice one. And that, of course, gets rid of the zombie, I'm pretty sure of it. And dead. Awesome. Alright. Uh, we n no way that we move up right now that would be stupid as hell because we ah, that that was also not the smartest let's I would love to hunker him down but let's go there it's just half cover though but all right with me Let's get some overwatches in. Okay, nothing there. Uh, right. Damn it. Just... Let's take Rodriguez first. Move him up. Okay, that seems kind of safe. Alright, is there any... Oh, there would be another access point to the roof. So I think our plan is still up. We move through here, over there, move up to uh, up to the top. Seems like a plan to me. Question is, do I risk this? There could be someone out there. The question is, would they spot us? I don't think so, but I don't want to risk it. Hmm. But well, I think we have to. So we move her over to to this corner, I think. All right, safe enough. So we know now that we can go there, I think. That should also be a safe move. And... I actually want to stack them up over there. Is there any way I can put my scientist... Okay, let's put him over there. So I don't know if this is similar to XCOM 1 in any way. Where you, if you had VIP missions, enemies would start dropping on you. Let's take a look here. Oh, now that was worth it. 
if anything. I'm sure the docs will want to see this. Yep. I'm pretty sure they want to. So that doesn't look too bad. Let's take her. Sadly, I I botched up her uh, in her concealment, not invisibility, but her concealment. Okay, nothing there. That's great. So she's going we'll to go there. I've got eyes on admin and she's flanked. Oh come on! Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Always on the last last bit. It's not even it's not even like oh my god, I have so far out. It's no, it's oh no, I, it's not like I run directly into them. Nope. It's it's completely just far out as far out as possible. Oh man. Yeah, okay. Okay. I I need to get a plan. That would be a good place. That would also be a good place. But it's really far out. That's no, nope, that's the wrong one. G is zoom out. Hmm. This would be a flank, but it's way too far that I would say it's a reasonable flank. So I think we we'll move up to there. Moving to position. So he should have uh, 50%. You know, let's just screw it. Catch. That is a bit aggressive, I think. And it might come back and bite me in the ass. But I'd rather get rid of them now than have her flanked. So let's move Moving up Jeff a bit. Location. So I'm pretty sure that he would prioritize res resurrecting anyway. And it's a pretty good shot. I hate that you have to always reopen this. If this would stay open, that would be great. I mean, I like the information that you're that they're giving you, but target disabled. Nice. So I think it's safe to move up. So I well, one thing that I wanted to say about XCOM One was. Interceptors are inbound on your current position. Yep. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Yes, yes, I know. That's just a warning that we have eight turns left, I think. I think I want to move up the ranger first. I'll select her. Thank you. Move, up, move out there. Just to, to reveal this little area. Oh, he's running now. That's not good. I think. Oh, no. Okay. No, nobody's there. So the question is, can I move to there? Is, is someone in this building? And I would be so pissed if there are some. Because, come on, it's two times now. Let's move her back into this corner. Should be alright. Yeah. Nobody's there. So we're going to stack up on this... And then move up on top of the building. Can you cross the street? Perfect. Do I want you to cross the street right now? No. I want you to move to there. And then over there. On the move. Uh, you do this with control. And I love this feature. It's great. Uh, the, w the reason why I want him to move this way and not that way. Just... It's just because somebody could be up there or in the building and uh, see us, and I don't want to risk this. So let's move scientist into this corner. Should be mostly out of sight. I don't know if this civilian is aggroing somebody. Okay, nobody here. So let's take Jeff. No, let's let's take the rookie. Can I take? 
Oh, uh, yeah, the rookie. Okay, rookie. Mm, to the top. We have seven turns left. That should be all right. The question that I ask myself is, will we get drops uh, if we move the scientist or, you know, the VIP? Uh, that was the case in XCOM 1. If you had a mission where you had to escort in via a VIP, all the, the enemy movement was based on on the position of your VIP. So you usually wanted to just, I don't know, you wanted him to move last, everybody in position, everything overwatched, and then move the VIP to a safe spot and just go this, go about this way. It seems like that it is not the case here. So we're going to stack up everybody on top of the roof. That should usually be safe enough. Going to move this, move him over there in this corner. I was thinking about putting him in the left uh, to the left hand side, but I don't think that would have been smart. Okay, so everybody else. I'll watch this. All right, this seems rather easy now. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just jinxed it. Okay, let's rotate the camera. Let's see what we do have to work. Here. Hmm. Jumping down here could be alright. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. I think everybody else can move up easily. I think the heavies, or the grenadiers, as they are called here, have the least movement range. Alright. Didn't even, didn't even trigger anybody. That's even better. Hmm. I would like to put him there, but I don't want to double move. So let's move him here. Oh, shite, that's the, the VIP. Oh, that's not good. I'll go back. <laughs> Sorry. My fault. Heading out. I don't want to put anyone in this place. Let's see what the, the hack could give us. I mean, why not? It doesn't hurt to take a look. Okay, initializing, soldiers gain dodge, okay, that is not worth it, I think. I mean, 50-50 is okay, but a failed hack will result in a group of reinforcements being called down on your position. I don't know, why would we even do that? I mean, we don't need the dodge right now. And I don't want to fight reinforcements because it's it's completely useless to fight them. Uh, let's take our ranger and ah, this is so little movement though. I don't really ah, confirmed. whatever. This is a stupid move, by the way. And you. Drop over there and go in Overwatch. Oh no, you can't go Overwatch anymore because I hacked. No, I can. Oh, well, that's great. Got it covered. Come get some. Shh. I think I heard something. Okay, so it's coming from this side. Okay, I can live with that. Don't even think we're going to trigger them then. On the move. Using full cover is always a good idea. Nope, I don't think we're going to trigger them. I mean, if I don't have to fight them, I won't. I could move up to just take a peek, but what's the point? Target. They could also be down here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's take out. this. And Angelo... Huh... I want to move him up somehow. On it. Move him over there. So the question is... Oh, did we just... They are down there. They are exactly below us. Okay, so now what I... 
who can see him. Oh no, that's just a hack. Okay. So can you move in this? Yep, that's great. So we could extract next turn. Great. Going in, over, going in to Overwatch everybody. Hunker down. I mean, if we don't need to, why would I risk it? It's just complete and utter nonsense. Let's get the VIP first. And evac. VIP secure and in position for evac. Okay, so we can extract all soldiers, uh, or we move over to there, take a peek and try to kill whatever is left. But then again, we are, I mean, it's a COVID operation, right? I, I don't think it's necessary. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. It's P, right? Yep. Oh, evac. I'm gone. I'm going. Evac. I'm out of here. Evac. Let's go. And evac. I mean, I call that a successful, successful COVID that operation. Mission accomplished. Perfect. It was way easier than I thought it would be. Um, I think the route that we took was basically the right choice. Moving around, up on top, jump down on the evac zone and get the hell out of there. And not kill everybody, it's, it's just... I mean, makes sense not to stress your luck, or press your luck and try to kill everyone. Every, every fight you, you take is a chance that some of the soldiers get wounded. It's not that you can guarantee that you wipe them out in one go. Especially since we exhausted our uh, grenades. We didn't have a single one. I think we only had a flashbang left. So, yeah, why risk it? That's that's basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> or basically what I said, I think, seven times. But I just always n feel the need to explain myself. Great work, Commander. Why, thank you. Alright, let's see. A rookie got to be a sniper or sharpshooter. That's good. Carry on. That's exactly what we wanted. That's why she that's actually why we brought her along because we needed Excuse me, slightly hiccups. Slight hiccups. That's exactly why we wanted her along. We wanted another sniper, that's great. He is our specialist, and what does the revival protocol do? Ooh. Ooh. Disoriented, stunned, panicked, or unconscious. Ooh. That could be pretty good. So, stunned. I don't know what could stun us. I know that flashbangs disorient, but I don't know. Maybe the enemies have stronger flashbangs or something. Panicked. Removing a panic could save us. And we don't have any robotic targets to hack at the moment. I think that that could be a lifesaver. Taking that. Yes. Okay. And our Corporal Rizzo. He could be a demolition man or a suppressor. Let's see. Demolition unleash a volley of bullets at your targets. Cover significantly damage or destroying it. Deals no damage to your target. Okay. I think I'll go with suppression. Yeah. Demolition I know from XCOM 1. I think the, the Max had that ability or something similar to it. Uh, but I like suppression. It's it's a good ability. You can pin someone down or you know get an overt shot if he moves. So that's that's all right. So oh, I thought it was a he. Sorry. 
Hasina Moshodi. Moshodi? I, I have no idea. Anyways, we got the advanced laser sight and an Illyrian core. That was well worth it. Available to you, Commander. You have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Thank you. I always feel the need to talk like this. After he talked like this. Thank you for sending yeah. additional support staff to Makes sense. Me, Commander. I will make yes, sure yes. they are put to good use. Okay, we have low supplies now. Weird. Why? Did we spend supplies on that? Huh. Okay. So we have the, the Advent Trooper in two days. It's dark, it's dank, and it's mostly metal. This ship isn't all that different from the old base. Yep, that is actually true. That is actually true. Anyway, so we have the Advent Trooper in two days. We have the Alien Debris here in three. A supply drop comes in in eight, whatever that means. And we have a facility, the Advanced Warfare Them Center. Welfare Center, of course. The Welfare Center in nine days. So, I think it's it's a good it's a good episode. We have forty minutes, almost fifty. So yeah, that was that was uh, another really interesting episode. We started expanding our base, and uh, we rescued the doctor. Oh god, I forgot her name again. Anyways, we, we rescued that VIP. I think we did it in a very covert and smart way. Didn't kill everyone, chose the right route through, well, the enemy lines, and got out scot-free. So that's, that's pretty good. Anyways, I hope you liked this episode. I hope to see you next time. If you did like it, please leave a comment, press the like button, helps out a great deal. And as always, auf Wiedersehen.